solve a problem or get to a solution about a problem that we refuse to acknowledge that we have, we don't have to be ashamed that we have a problem. We don't have to be ashamed to know that it is related to slavery because all of our problems are related to slavery. And I know that that seems to be some old hat issue and, and everybody want me to stop talking about that. Uh, nobody would tell the Japanese woman to forget about the fact that during World War II, the white man interned her family, took all of their personal possessions. Nobody would tell her to forget about that. Uh, nobody would tell the Indian woman, forget about the fact that the white man came over here and took your country and put you and your babies out on the reservation. And nobody would dare to tell the Jewish woman to forget about the Holocaust, so why I got to forget about slavery? See, the Japanese and the Indian and the Jewish woman got behind their men, and they had some very terrible histories also. But because they got behind their men and supported them and worked with them, those people are successful today. They own property. They have businesses. They got great land here and abroad. You know, they have stocks, bonds, whatever America has to offer. They own part of that. They are in a position to make decisions because they have some ownership. It's only been the black man and the black woman who didn't reunite after a terrible time. And so today we are splintered. We don't have very much. We practice envy and jealousy. You know, they taught us a lot of bad habits that we practice against each other. If we practice everything we practice against each other, against the white man, they'd have been killed out of America. <laughs> Most of that stuff we reserve for our own kind. And that's wrong. We have uh, had that rumor that we, we are the backbone of the black nation because it has served to make us think we were better than the black man. We have walked around and, and wore that as some kind of a sacred garment. And our men have had to struggle up under the already preconceived notion that they wasn't no good. We have always heard that the black man leaves us. He walks out on us. He don't love his children. He won't take care of his family. He beat his women. He do a lot of horrible things. This book goes back to try to examine what are some of the possible contributing causes. What happened before he left? What happened? Something happened. The black man is just not bad by nature. The brothers love their children as much as any other man. Every man loves his baby. They keep wanting to tell us that our man don't even love his children. He's not a mother, though. He's a father. He's not going to have the same kind of connection to the cub that we have. We can't expect that. We keep wanting the man to act like a woman. He can't act like no 